ever wonder what teachers do outside of school? Do you ever think they just go home and do nothing? Well, what if we told you that they do the same things everyone else does? Like go on a trip, or go out to eat, or even own a small business. Well, there is a teacher at Lakeside High School named Stephen Fryer, and he owns a local coffee shop. And here's his story. Uh, my name is Stephen Fryer. He's really, really, really good at running his business. I really, I really enjoyed the world of coffee, and I really enjoyed uh, everything that went into the making of it, the roasting it, and etc. And I also liked customer service. I enjoyed working with people. And I felt like I could offer something that maybe they couldn't get normally in Hot Springs from the standard coffee shops that were around. So it gave me a desire to fill kind of that need in Hot Springs. We also talked to Ellie Pruitt, an employee at Mugshots Express, to get an employee's perspective. It's more, you have one-on-one -on -one with the customers, you have regulars that come in, so they become like close friends. You get gifts on like holidays or your birthday because they know you so well. And I don't know, you get to know them very well in a little smaller place. We are a very quality oriented coffee shop. Um, we do everything kind of in the traditional way. Uh, our espresso machines, for example, are fully manual machines. Um, we focus a lot on the quality of uh, the coffee that goes into it. All the coffees that we've selected are uh, hand selected, you know, specifically roasted for us. Uh, the syrups that we've selected are all natural. We try to, we try to source everything that we can locally. And so I think that just kind of separates us um, from the rest of them, really focus on quality. I got my bachelor's degree at Arkansas Tech University, uh, studying international studies. Um, I got my master's in interma international business administration, uh, which I took partially at University of Central Arkansas in Conway, and then partially uh, living in uh, Manzanillo, which is in the state of Colima in Mexico. And so, you know, kind of through that, uh, with my work with international business and studying that, I really enjoyed uh, all aspects of it and really wanted to uh, have a business that could reflect uh, some of my experiences. And I think to a certain extent I bring some of the same things that I do in my classroom into my management style. I make sure that people understand what's expected of them. I try to make sure that I have kind of an open door to people, um, allow them to express their opinions, allow them to express uh, their ideas, but at the same time sort of guide them toward where uh, where I want them to be in terms of the quality of the service that they're offering, the quality of the drinks that they're making. If you have ever owned a business, you know that it's not an easy thing. And this is how Mr. Fire feels about it. Um, you know, when you go to start a business, I think a lot of people from the outside looking in have this vision that you, you have a great idea, you put some money behind it, maybe you get some backers and then you just go do it. And it, it doesn't really work that way. You have to get approval from the city, you have to get approval from the state, you have to uh, create uh, whatever your business model is, you have to do all of those things ahead of time uh, before you can ever even start, uh, you know, making your product or setting up your shop. You've got to uh, have everyone sign off on it. Well, the one thing I would say is this, if you're interested in starting a business, I would encourage you to do so. I mean, I feel that these small businesses are the backbone of the U.S. economy, certainly the backbone of Arkansas's economy. And it is a lot of work. I don't, I don't want to undersell that, but there are great rewards with it as well. As you can see, anybody can own a business. Yes, there are going to be some ups and downs, but in the end, it'll all pay off. Thank you for watching.